Hello everyone, let's take a look at some graphing and we want to take a look at uh, a variety of different kinds of graphs and we'll see why here in just a second. So I've got some data here and with this data this first column here and here is just going to be labeled X. Uh, this actually comes from experiment but I don't recall the details of the experiment so I'm just going to leave it as X and Y. And then you have some Y data here and some Y data here. And we want to graph this data, see what we can determine about the relationship between X and Y. And so if I do that, <clears throat> I can see that X just goes from 1 to 10. So here's my X axis down here. I'm just going to label this then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 10 is going to be pretty much just that right hand edge. But notice the data starts off at 2 and goes up to 4,000. And so that's going to be a little more difficult to work with. But let's go ahead and we'll call this the y-axis here. So this is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and 4,000. So this is going to be 4,500 right there. And I want to graph this data. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to use a different color for the the data as I graph it. All right, so at x equal to 1, y is 2, and that I can't even draw a dot small enough, so I'm just going to put it right there at the edge. That's probably actually way off base, but that's all right. It'll work for us for now. Uh, when x is equal to 2, y is 22. That's still going to be pretty much down here at the bottom. And keep in mind, this is 500 here, so 100 is about there. Whoops, that's 100, not 1,000. <clears> All right, and then x equals 3. I'm at 82, so that might actually be off of the base there. x equals 4. I get up to 200. x equals a 5. I'm up to 450, so not quite 500. At x equals 6, I'm up to 800 x equals 7, I'm at the 1300, so this is 1500 here. So 1300 and change is going to be about there. x equal to 8, I'm at 2102, so somewhere in that range. Uh, x equal 9, I'm at 3100. And finally at x equal to 10, I'm at about 4400, which is about there. So you can see there's the data there, and I, I'd like to fit that data, and we'll, we'll take a look at Excel to see how well it fits the data. But clearly this is not a straight line, and so what I'm attempting to do with all of this is figure out what's going to be the equation that best fits this data, and I can get that really nicely if the data is reasonable for nice functions, if you will. Uh, by looking at not just the data, but the logarithm of the data. Okay, and so to do that, we, we utilize, well, Excel will do this for us, but we're going to do this by hand first. We're going to utilize some paper, some graph paper that isn't square on both sides. So there's two kinds of graph paper that we're going to look at. One is called semi-log paper, and the other one is called log paper or log-log paper. All right, so let's see what that looks like. So here's a piece of semi-log paper, and by semi-log, what that means is the x-axis down here is uniform in size. So you can see that the spacing here to here is the same as from there to there to there to there, right? So that's all uniform in size. But look at the y-axis. Here's one. And there's no zero on log paper, because remember, you can't take the log of zero, right? So I can't have a zero there. So there's one, two, three, four. Notice how the increments are getting closer and closer together. Here's 10. This is not really 2. It's really 20. That would be 40. This would be 100 here. This would be 200. And so this at the top is actually 1,000. So we want to graph this data utilizing all of this. Well, we're going to have to do something a little bit different here. So to graph this data, keep in mind we go all the way up past 4,000. So let's, let's make this 100 here. 
And then here, this will actually be a thousand. And this will make this up here 4,000. This would be 10,000 up here, but we're not going to get that high. Right? Our maximum y value is 4,390. But the bottom is uniform, so let's kind of make take advantage of that. So we'll make this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right, so 1 is at 2.2. Well, this is 10 is this bottom value, so we're just going to put that right at the bottom. So that first point is basically right there. At x equal to 2, I'm to 21. Well, here's 20 right there. So a little bit above that is 21. At x equal to 3, I'm at 83. So that's going to be about there. x equal to 4, I'm at 200 and change. So that's about there. x equal to 5, I'm at 450. x equal to 6, I'm at 800. 813. x equal to 7, I'm at about 1350. So this is 1500 here. So there's about 13. x equal to 8. I'm at about 2100, so here's 2000 here. So there's about 2100. X equal to 9, I'm at about 3100. And that's about there. And at x equal to 10, I'm at about 4400, so here's 4000. Uh, so 4400 is about here. And you can see that's still not quite straight. It's really not yet a line. Uh, if I tried to draw a line through there, I'll actually put in a curvature of some type. But it kind of looks like there's more of a curvature of some type there. That's not the very best I could have done, is it? Okay, so that's not the line I'm looking for. So this semi-log where the base is is linear and that might not be working so we're going to go to a log log situation and in this log log situation what you're going to notice is the bottom is also logarithmic so you can see one two three four five six there's ten here this would be twenty not that i'm going to need that this would be a hundred over here but this is still going to be a hundred a thousand Here's 4,000 here. All right, so let's try graphing it here. So again, at 1, I'm at 2.2. And that's basically going to be right here in the corner. At 2, I am at 21. So this is 2 here, or 20 rather, 30, 40, 50, 60. So at 2, I'm at 21 and change. So that's about there. At 3, I'm at 83. So 80 is here. So 3 up to 83. At 4, I'm at 200. So 200 is there. And there's 4 is here. At 5, I'm at 445. So here's 5, 445 would be about there. At 6, I'm a little bit beyond 800. So there's 6, and 800's about there. At 7, I'm at about 1300. So this is 2000 here. So at 7, I climb up to 1000. This is about 1,500, so come back a little bit. At 8, I'm at about 2,100. So I'll climb up there. 
There's 2,000, so 2,100 is about there. And at 9, I'm at 3,100. So here's 3,000, a little bit more. Right, this is 3,000 here. And finally at 10, I'm at 4,390, which is about there. And that's looking a lot more linear, especially if I ignore this first one, which is kind of a hassle because of its being so far down on the scale there. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, as a matter of fact, now that I think about it, this is, this is 10, so 2 would be way down here. So I actually do need to ignore that point because 2 would be below the 10, right? Remember, there's no 0 on the uh, log scales. So that actually is more of a straight line than you, we, this is going to be farther down, so that's going to be down here someplace. All right, so what I've discovered then is that my log, log paper is yielding a straight line graph. And that's going to tell me a lot about the kind of equation that's going to fit this data. Right, that tells me a lot. The uh, semi-log did not work. It's still curved. Right, that's not going to work. And the standard graph did not give it to me. So the function, because it's a straight line, because it's a line under the log-log paper, that's going to tell me a lot about what that function looks like. And we'll examine those functions here in just a little bit. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.